Flyweight title fight between Lights Out and Timothy Elliott. Timothy Elliott set to enter the octagon again tonight, looking to become the new UFC flyweight champion. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Timothy Elliott enters the octagon with his mind set on just one thing tonight, winning the UFC championship. Lights out, looking very confident as he makes his way out to the octagon. He is ready to go. He is a cardio machine, Mike. He always comes in in incredible condition, and that's arguably one of the most important aspects of mixed martial arts training. Once your cardio goes, so does everything else. But this is one guy who definitely won't be losing because he ran out of gas. Lights Out is set for our main event of the evening. Tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Lights Out is 23. Elliot is 27. Lights Out is two inches taller. Elliot will have a one inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden in New York City. martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, 5 losses, and 1 draw. Standing 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lee Summit, Missouri, USA, Timothy Elliott. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting for New York, New York, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight captain of the world, Lewis. Championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. They touch gloves. Lights out. Here we go. First Jimmy one. You ready? Yelly. You ready? Here go. we go. Title fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trunks for Elliot. Great trunks for the champion. Very nice. Joey did a nice job blocking that punch. Elliot with a good punch. Oh, big kick. Hard straight punch. Turning into an all-out slugfest. Right, 
Nice trip. He takes the fight to the ground. Clean punch. Elliott's in full guard here. And he's up. Beautiful jab. Superman punch. Big knee to the body. Swing and a miss. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Elliott's strike is blocked. And he's looking for that left. He got tagged with that combination. Uppercut nearly connected. Back and forth battle. Nice. Nice one, too. He's able to block the punch. Trying to get a single. Wow! He connects with the straight. Keep that head moving. Head movement. The huge head kick is blocked. These guys are trading strikes here. He's hurt. Wow! Oh my! Just like that! Lights out. Wins by knockout. Landed a gigantic kick for the knockout. We recap the fight on our fight replay. Let's take another look at the huge kick that caused the end of this fight. And you can see right here, as soon as it lands, this fight is over. Check it out here. Boom! Right on the button. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, and still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Newland. Lights out remain. The UFC flyweight champion. way to the octagon and wanting to leave with the UFC flyweight championship belt around his waist. He's very athletic, has a ton of natural quickness. You can see it in the way he moves around the octagon. He's got fast feet and a lightning quick jab. He's a very difficult guy to counterfight. As soon as you see the shot coming, he's tagged you. Enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Lights out, coming off a great training camp, and feels outstanding. He's a very active fighter, Mike. When he's on his feet, he's dodging in and out, changing angles, changing levels. He's extremely hard to time and unpredictable with his attacks. You never know if he's shooting in for a takedown or setting up a high kick. They touch. Lights out. Darren Uenoyama. Here we go. Championship fight. Five five-minute rounds. Blue trunks for Uenoyama. White trunks for the champion. Lewis caught by that head kick. Good combination. 
Beautiful right hand. They're going after it quick here. That kick to the body's blocked. Uino Yama got caught by that left. He misses with the right hook. Now he lands the hook to the head. Nice defense there as he parries that shot away. He hit him with the hook. Lights out. He's come out swinging early, and he's fighting very aggressively. He certainly seems like he's got something to prove tonight. Incredible. Oh, oh that rocked him. Man. but fell short. Oh! Big shot. Oh, he's out. Oh he's out cold. Just like that! Lights up. Victorious by knockout. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Let's take one more look at this huge knee that causes the knockout. Right on the money. And that's the end of this fight. And here we see it again. Boom! And then he's out. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levain has called us out for this contest at 1 minute, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by not. Remains the UFC flyweight champion.